What's going on everyone? I'm gonna rank a bunch of items I heard. Um, I'm sure a lot of people want to know. I got a few comments and stuff, so yeah. Uh, I have like 16, 16 different IMs here. Um, so yeah, let's start off from the bottom of the list. So we have the Sure SE 425. Is it worth the money? No. It would have been maybe like 10 years ago, but now it's not. Finally, 1000 Blonde BL03. Is it worth the money? I put no, but if you're on a budget, uh, then I would say it is worth the money. So yeah, those are my thoughts. Moondrop Kato is the 12th one on the list. Is it worth the money? Nope. Um, overly forward sound. Even the Finally 1000 doesn't have that issue. So it is better than the E1000, so it's above it. And then Weststone W60 uh, is 11th on the list. Is it worth the money? No. Sure SC846, is it worth the money? No. Ico OH10s, is it worth the money? No. Finally 5000, is it worth the money? No. C Audio Yume, it is worth the money because it has a special tonality to it which none of these other items down below have. So yeah, this is worth the money. Um, Blessing 2, is it worth the money? No, um, unless if you get it for like under 200 bucks or around there, but for regular price, not worth the money. Zen's T2, is it worth the money? No, very overpriced. Oracle, is it worth the money? Absolutely not. Overpriced. Monarch Mark II, is it worth the money? No. Um, has a bunch of issues with the treble. Um, yeah, it ruins the whole tonality. ER4SR, is it worth the money? 100%. Um, it doesn't do anything wrong. So yeah, 7 Hertz Timeless, is it worth the money? 100%. Uh... It competes with the year 4SR. It has maybe even more amounts of details. So yeah. And then the Moondrop Variations. Is it worth the money? 100%. Um, it doesn't do that many things wrong. Uh, it's a good IEM. Better than any of these other ones I have on the list. So yeah. It's number two that I've heard. And the U12T. So out of all of these, you'll notice only like four or five are worth the money. Um, so yeah, uh, all of the ones that I did say are worth the money are exceptional, um, on an objective and subjective note, uh, basically the Moondrop Variations is more resolving than the Monarch and the Oracle, uh, 7 Hertz Timeless is tuned better than the Monarch and the Oracle, the ER4SR is one of the best tuned IEMs of all time so yeah you will notice a lot most of these IEMs are not worth it so yeah I mean I reviewed a bunch of these or actually all of them I'm pretty sure I reviewed every single one of these IEMs on the list so yeah hopefully that was helpful um if you guys have any questions let me know